Can you pull up this picture? So last Sunday, last Sunday we celebrated the 105th anniversary, and we also, we launched a new ministry called the Ministry of Unity. And I was glad that God challenged me. God challenged me, not that one, the, the next one, actually, the, with the, yeah, from, from Ridley. And so that God challenged me this week. God challenged me with, because I was, I was asking God, can you give me the details? Can you give me some of the details? And thankfully, the conference that I attended yesterday, the conference I attended yesterday, had this strong theme of unity. And so God filled in some of the details. On Monday, on Monday, so on Monday, I was in, um, I was in rural Georgia. I was in rural Georgia, and I was hanging out with Ridley Monk. And so the person you see on the screen, he'll be 103 years old on July, on July 24. So we get a chance to hang out with somebody who's 103, like you're gonna do that. So our mutual friend has said, you know, hey, I want you to meet, and the way he says, Ridley Monk. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I want to meet Ridley. And so I, you know, I go to hang out with Ridley. Ridley was, um, so he lived through the Depression. He was a World War II veteran in the Navy. And he was telling stories about World War II that were just, you know, off the chain. And just his, his wife transitioned, and they were the same transition just a few years ago at age 99. They were married over 70 years. And so I'm just sitting there, I'm taking it all in, and you know, really, it's just like, you know, he's taking it all in. And so, at the end, and really, you know, he had a lot to say, he had a lot to say that day. At the end, because we had to go off to another meeting, really says to me, says, um, he says, you are my best friends. Now, that's not the first time I'm meeting him. He's like, you are my best friends. And so, my wife and I with him, he says, he says, because not many people visit me now, oh, because all of my contemporaries are gone. And so he said, you are my best friends. And that was, that was a wonderful thing that I know I needed to share with us because we always need to make sure that we're visiting, especially our seniors. We need to make sure that, and, and it was just a, it was a wonderful message that I need to hear. And then I need, to, I need you to, so Ridley never met me before, invited me into his home. You know, he has some great peach cobbler that, you know, his aide served, and we're just hanging out. And towards it, I need, you to, I need you to get this part of it. So he's going through, we're in his bedroom, and he's showing me these medals, and he's showing me all this stuff and his degrees, and he was an entrepreneur. And then he shows me his, um, his grandfather, I don't know if it was his grandfather or great-grandfather, I think it was his grandfather, so his grandfather served in the Confederate Army. And so he says to me, he says to me as I'm going, he says, Richard, you're my best friend. And I'm so glad you came and come back. And then he says, I'm a Confederate. Now, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Now, hang with me. Hang with me here. Because all of our time, all of our time when we were talking, we were talking about our common faith in God. Ridley was a deacon. He was a um, Sunday school teacher. He was all of that. He was all of that. And all of what I felt when I was in Ridley's house, the only thing I felt was love. And so what Ridley was showing me as I was leaving is I have this past history. I have this history, past history, and it's a real part of my history, but my love for God... My love for God is more important than even my history. And so when I think about it, and so God was just working on me. God was working on me because God was like, here's what this unity thing looks like. Here's what this unity thing looks like. There are two people who can come together, never met each other, completely different paths, and we come together because we have God in common. I was like, wow. So God, that's how it works. That's how it works. That's the path that God has us on. And so in two weeks, in two weeks, I'm going to come back with, with something that, that's more detailed in terms of what unity looks like to keep us all accountable. But I was blessed, and, and I, was, I was so thankful 
that Ridley did not hide that. Because if there's real relationship, then there's transparency. And I was just, I was just so grateful. I was so grateful. And then he made it clear that, yeah, that's part of my heritage, but it doesn't impact our relationship negatively at all. It would only impact our, our relationship negatively if I allowed it to. I got to go, huh? I got to go on, y'all. I, I was just blessed with really, 